come to Shell and get three things done at once. First, fill up with Shell V-Power Nitro Plus to help keep your engine running like new. Nice. Then save up with the Fuel Rewards Program and never pay full price for gas again. Oh, wow. And finally, snack up to save even more at the pump. That's great. Make the most of the stop you need to make with Shell. Wait, there's three of me? Awesome. If I don't get dialysis three days a week, I will die. I want to live. I have nowhere to go if my clinic shut down. I am collateral damage. Please vote no on 29. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Now at noon, a final farewell. The UK and the world paying tribute to Queen Elizabeth II, a day filled with pomp and splendor and many heavy hearts. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. The service was led by her son, King Charles III. And attended by several world leaders and dignitaries, including President Biden. KTLA 5's Sandra Mitchell joining us now with the story. Sandra? Well, Glenn, today's services were a reminder of the many roles of Queen Elizabeth, the head of the royal family, commander-in-chief of the military, and a mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. Now, in many ways, this was a celebration of life, but we could see the grief on the faces of her closest family. <laughs> An end to the 10 days of publicly mourning a monarch. The coffin of Queen Elizabeth II lowered into the royal vault. Every detail of the elaborate services had been planned years ago and approved by the queen herself. Just moments before, the royal jeweler removed the state crown, orb, and scepter from atop the coffin. King Charles stepped forward for his part in the solemn ceremony, and Lord Chamberlain broke the wand of office and placed it on the coffin, symbolizing the end of Elizabeth's reign. In the midst of our rapidly changing and frequently troubled world, her calm and dignified presence has given us confidence to face the future as she did with courage and with hope. Queen Elizabeth will be buried there in St. George's Chapel on the grounds of Windsor Castle next to her beloved Prince Philip and her parents. A spectacle in the streets as thousands gathered to watch the Queen's coffin travel through London. The royal hearse paraded through the main entrance to Windsor Castle, accompanied by honor guards and the military. Earlier, a state funeral with 2,000 people gathered inside Westminster Abbey, including President Biden and the Emperor of Japan. It is the first time a monarch's funeral has been held at Westminster Abbey since the 18th century. The Archbishop of Canterbury remembered how the Queen had dedicated her life to serving others. Her late majesty famously declared on a 21st birthday broadcast that her whole life would be dedicated to serving the nation and commonwealth. Rarely has such a promise been so well kept. To the world today's services might have looked rehearsed, might have looked formal, but there were so many personal touches. Flowers on her coffin included a sprig grown from a cutting of her wedding bouquet. There was a hymn, the same one sung at her wedding, a handwritten note from King Charles on top of her coffin. Even her beloved corgis and her pony were along the parade route to watch. Glenn and Lou, back to you guys. All right, Sandra, thank you. And coming up here in a couple of minutes, we're going to check back in live to London for more from our correspondent, Katie Corrado. But first, we have developing news, growing concerns from parents and law enforcement after a series of overdose deaths linked to fentanyl-laced drugs. And the latest overdose involved a man at a San Bernardino music festival over the weekend. KTLA 5's Chris Wolf is live in Montebello with more on this story. Hi, Chris. That's right. Hello, Lou and Glenn. It is quite a story. Marcy Rodriguez is a grieving mother, but she's also a woman of very, very deep faith who tells us 
She's now dedicating her life to fighting drugs and fentanyl and the venues that she believes permit this type of illegal activity.